Hello biologists, today we are looking at lesson objective or specification point D from populations and sustainability from the OCR specification for A-level biology. So in this specification point we are, we are asked to look at how the management of an ecosystem can provide resources in a sustainable way um, using examples of timber production and fishing. So sustainability is where we can maintain the numbers within a, a population size so that they can reproduce and the population isn't going to decrease dram dramatically over time. And we can do that in timber production and in fishing. So the aims of sustainability are to preserve the environment, to ensure resources are available for future generations, to allow humans in all societies to live comfortably, enable less and economically developed countries to develop through exploiting their natural resources and create a more even balance within the consumption of these resources in more economically developed countries and also less economically developed countries. So we're going to start off by looking at the timber production and then move on to fishing. So there's a couple of timber ways in which we can sustainably use timber and produce timber. First one that we need to know about is coppicing. And this is where the tree trunk is cut very close to the ground and there's set, therefore several new shoots will grow from that cut surface. This process can be repeated after a certain length of time. You would need to protect the young shoots from grazers though uh, as, they are, as they grow back from that cut trunk. Uh, and this can be repeated indefinitely because the tree will just continue to grow each time that you cut it. This is in a red box, it's taken from the mark schemes, it's well worth making sure that you understand and know this. Now the advantages of using coppicing, new stems can grow more rapidly than saplings, so if you were going to plant a, a tree from seed, coppicing is quicker than that. The lifespan of the tree is extended, it provides a variety of light levels because you're cutting the, the, the trunk at very low, it allows different light levels to filter in, so therefore smaller plants on the forest floor can access those, the light available. Uh, it provides a variety of habitats, it maintains biodiversity. Um, the roots are present uh, and aren't removed, um, so therefore this prevents soil erosion. That's very popular on several exams and mat schemes that I've seen. It maintains soil quality, prevents succession, and large machinery is not needed, therefore there's less disturbance to the area and therefore less disturbance to habitats and other organisms. We've got selective felling, and this is where you cut down selective uh, trees, normally those that are the most mature trees in the forest, allowing others to reach maturity. It also leaves other areas for habitats for other animals. Um, we've got rotational felling. Again, you can actually use rotational uh, coppicing as well, but the whole idea of rotational felling on that rotational area is um, that you leave the site. So once you've cut it off, you allow it to regrow back to maturity. And that normally takes between 8 to 20 years, depending upon the species of the tree. You have strip felling, and this is where you cut down a select, a selected mature trees in a strip, in the form of a strip, uh, excuse that typo, this allows other trees to grow to maturity and also leaves enough for habitats for other animals as well. Uh, really important on the mark scheme, they love this. After you have felled a tree, if appropriate, you would need to replant. Very, very good sustainable way of producing timber. Okay, so we've looked at timber production and now we're going to move on to fishing. So it's really important that we sustainably fish in our oceans. Uh, as you can see from this, the exploitation of fish is quite high. And there is a fantastic film, if you do want to have a look at it, called The End of the Line, which highlights the, the problems to do with overfishing. Um, it's really important we look after these because there isn't a lot of time left for some species. And a way in which we can introduce um, contribute to our sustainable fishing is one of them is to introduce quotas. This limits the number of certain species of fish that can be caught at a given time. They have certain hole sizes in the nets to allow smaller fish to escape and therefore they can reach maturity and therefore reach a breeding gauge to help maintain a sustainable level of population. And also fishing is only allowed at certain times of the year, again, to help that population reach a sustainable level. So those are the main ways in which you can sustainably use timber and fish. Guys, don't forget in your exam, do not use the words it, amount, they, or size. Good luck with your exams. Use plenty of biological terminology. Good luck.